Hi and welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can play Vive and Oculus games on your Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this is for Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest for Daydream VR. So if you haven't done so yet, subscribe now. We're going to use a tool called Riftcat Rich. So in order to get everything running, you have to go to riftcat.com now, just like I do here in this video, and you have to click on Get Rich. This will download the client for your computer. And talking about computers, you will need a fairly powerful one in order to make this work. So I'm here on my laptop, which is a Dell XPS 15, a strong one with an NVIDIA graphics card, the GTX 960M. So on this machine, it works fine. As you can see, I've already started the, the client and now it asks me to start the app on my phone. I've also downloaded it and let me show you how it looks like on the Android phone. And here it is. So you can connect your computer to your phone wirelessly via Wi-Fi, but I would not suggest you to do so. Instead, use the USB cable because this will give you the least latency on your device. On your phone, click on the top left button. This is the hamburger menu. Click on USB tethering and then turn the USB tethering option to on. On your PC, you had already clicked on the green settings button and you have a menu here. And a few seconds after you, you turned on the USB tethering option, another option will appear here, like so. And now you click on this Ethernet and you click on the back button on your phone and the device is connected with VRidge on your computer. So now you want to optimize the streaming settings, for example, the bitrate and the resolution on your phone. Click on the green toolbox button and this dialog appears. Now on the bottom you see the optimal settings for your pixel and you have to set them just according to them. So simply set it as you see it here in this example. So for resolution that will be full HD, for frame rate 60 FPS and for bitrate 95 Mbps. We have some more options here which are um, tracking options. Simply use phone sensors only and you can also change the recenter hotkey if you want to. So now you're done with the settings and I can tell you that these settings work so well for my setup with the Pixel XL and my computer. It's great. I was so surprised that I can play HTC Vive games on my Daydream VR. The next thing you have to do, you click on the Play Steam VR Games button. Obviously you have to have Steam installed and Steam VR as well, but if you don't have Steam VR installed, it will install by itself automatically. So now you see two windows here. One says Rich Runtime. Rich Runtime is hosting Steam VR. This is good. And on the bottom of the of the window you see Steam VR ready. So when you run this for the first time, you still have to do the room setup. Click on Run Room Setup and this window will pop up. And now click on Standing Only. Now hold your phone in front of you, just like on the picture, and click on Next. Once you're done with this, click on Next again. And now we have to calibrate your height. In the entry field, enter your height. For In my case, that's 187 centimeters. And click on Calibrate Floor. Once you're done with this, you're finished and you don't have to do any setup anymore. In my case, SteamVR got unresponsive, as you can see now, so I had to start Riftcat Rich again. By the way, you can try out this software completely free of charge. However, your playing sessions will be limited to 15 minutes only. So if you find out that it works great and you want to get the full version, this will set you back $15. So now I'm going to show you how to start a SteamVR game. Basically, it's really simple. You click on Play SteamVR Game and then you open Steam. You go to your library and then you pick your Steam VR game that you want to play on your Daydream VR. So in this case I chose Project Cars Pagani Edition because this is a free game that you can play on Steam VR. Again I have to stress it has to be a VR game so it must be an HTC Vive game or an Oculus game. You cannot simply choose any game and think it's gonna work in VR, no. You have to choose a Steam VR game. Once you clicked on play in VR, what actually should happen, but it doesn't happen in this case, is that the game opens in VR and you simply start to play. 
However, in this case now, it didn't work. But the game started just on my computer and not in VR. The reason was that my Pixel was not connected to the RiftCat Rich app. So I had to redo it again, but no problem. I can use now this time to tell you a bit more about the app. As you know, HTC Vive and Oculus Rift both have location-aware controllers. So what I show you now is a way to play games that don't need the controllers. However, this app is so good because if you do have Sony PS Move controllers, two of them and two of the cameras, you can emulate even the controllers of the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. It is so great. And should I get my hands on two extra PS Move controllers, I will totally check this out and post this for you as well. In the meantime, my Pixel is connected with RiftCat Rich. And as you can see in VR, I can now see the big picture mode of Steam VR. So the picture in picture that you see is the picture of the Pixel that I'm wearing. And now in VR, I can choose to start the game and I'm starting the game now. I'm recording this footage on the computer, which is also sending the stream to my Pixel. So this is extremely taxing on my computer. So therefore some frames are dropping and sometimes in the in-game footage it might look a bit choppy. However, if you don't record the gameplay, everything is really buttery smooth and works much much better as it seems here now. Anyways, let's zoom in on the Pixel picture. As you can see much better now, the game is launching and I want to remind you again, this all happens on my Daydream VR. I'm launching an HTC Vive game on Daydream VR. And if I had two PlayStation Move controllers, I could even emulate the HTC Vive controllers. This is really good. So probably you do have two of them lying around and don't know what to do with them. Now you know what to do with them. So the game starts now. I haven't played Project Cars before, so I'm really not good at it. But it's not the point to show you how great I play video games. I just want to show you that it's possible to play HTC Vive games on your Daydream VR. Let me also tell you how I control the game. I have an Xbox controller hooked up to my computer and I can simply use it to play the whole game. There's one big question left. How is the experience? How is the latency? This is the question that we need to answer. And from my experience now, I can tell you, I was surprised how, how good it is. You do feel the latency. It's not perfect. It's definitely lagging a bit behind, but it's still playable. I have tested out both configuration, both wireless and wired. I have a fast router here. It's an AC router and it was very acceptable, but of course, if you connect your, your Pixel with the USB, it will still be better. This is definitely the best option. Okay, let me zoom in now in the picture so that you can appreciate how beautiful this looks. I don't think the Pixel would have the graphical power to show such graphics and this is kind of fascinating. And if I wouldn't be recording two streams at the same time, this wouldn't be as choppy and the frame rate would be much better. It really works at 60 frames per second. The only slight problem is the latency, which again is acceptable, but you should definitely check it out for yourself if the latency is acceptable for you. That's it for this video on RiftCat Rich. I hope this was interesting for you. For me, it was very interesting to set this up and check this out. If you have any kind of question about this whole setup, about this whole Rift Cat Rich, please leave the questions down in the comment section and I will answer them. So this was another Daydream District video. Please click on like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of this in the future. And of course, if you have still not subscribed to this channel, do so to always stay up to date about everything Daydream.